زرت بيت الله يوما رافعا صوتي ملبي في رحاب البيت اقسم رهبه السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته um, very briefly looking at the costs of Hajj, um, how much you spend in effort in preparing, the cost of tickets, and the whole headache of the process of mixing pe with people, strangers, luggage carrying, securing accommodation, everything that goes into the Hajj process um, is definitely difficult. But as some say, good things are not cheap, and cheap things are not good. When we look at the Hajj, yes, there is sacrifice. But with that sacrifice, there's also the reward that Allah gives for the sacrifices. Some go on a much cheaper financial budget. Actually, if we look back into history, many were going by road, um, on camels, on donkeys, on horses, on foot, uh, as transportation systems uh, evolved and became cheaper, we started to go uh, to Hajj by road and then gradually, alhamdulillah, by air. But even those who go by air, you can go by economy class, you can go by business or first class. Uh, and the same thing when it came to accommodation. Uh, the kind of accommodation you would stay in depended on what you could afford. Hajj is not supposed to be, just like any act of ibadah, it's not supposed to be a punishment. It's not supposed to be one where you suffer. And so if it is something where you can afford more comfortable accommodation, more comfortable transport, uh, more comfortable ways of getting food, uh, this is definitely very acceptable in Islam. Of course, we should also uh, be sure it is comfort we are looking for, not extravagance. It's not supposed to be an opportunity to waste money. Uh, if the money you are spending on food is food you are going to eat, then of course go ahead and spend it. If you are spending money on transport that you will be taking, uh, it's not money wasted. But the key thing is the intention and to not allow the kind of lifestyle we want to live to distract us from what brought us. It's not a period for showing off that I can live in a more expensive accommodation or travel in a more expensive mean of tra means of transport. We always remember what Allah tells us, فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ زَادِ taqwa. The best thing you can carry on this journey is your God consciousness. That sense of Allah's presence that makes us always do things to seek Allah's pleasure. Things that are good for us, but things where we consider Allah first in all our decisions. So there are many uh, ways of getting to Hajj. There are many forms of accommodation you could stay in from different levels of tents to different levels of hotels. Uh, there's a big variety. Whichever one you take, make sure you are taking something that you feel this allows me to focus on what brought me. So if you can give somebody else to do your laundry, if somebody else will do your cooking and whatever and you are going to focus on your acts of ibadah, all well and good. But do not allow the dunya side of just because there are shops and things. There's nothing wrong in shopping. There's nothing wrong in going and seeing places. There's nothing wrong in that. But don't forget the primary assignment that brings you for Hajj. So we pray that our means of transport, the luxuries we are able to get in our modern society of air conditioning, uh, of flowing water and all of that. Let's not allow anything that didn't go exactly right in that area to be a source of frustration. You get angry about the quality of food, you get angry about the driver, you get angry with strangers. Remember, this uh, trip is for many a once in a lifetime opportunity. And so some would be really focused on their acts of ibadah and they're not being considerate. They're not thinking about you. But don't allow their own behavior to make you forget what behavior is expected of a person with taqwa as a guest of Allah, as a guest of Allah. And if you look at others as also being guests of Allah, you ask yourself, how should you treat other guests of Allah? Because the Prophet ﷺ described pilgrims as being like guests of Allah.
May Allah accept our Hajj. May Allah give us the right behavior and conduct during this period to be better guests of Allah, but also to try and play the role of hosts to the other guests of Allah. Until we meet again on another topic in another episode, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.